Hey, welcome to CNY Flavor, where we help teach you how to cook on a shoestring budget. We got a great show in store for you. What we do is we do some, you know, a couple recipes. We do some cooking and, and help you learn how to cook and combine things on a shoestring budget at home in today's economic times. At the end of the show, what we do is we interview local restaurants, owners, chefs, uh, different things that are unique to Central New York. So stay tuned. We got a great show in store for you. I got a great little segment in store for you here today um, you know with barbecues coming graduation parties all the things that uh, we're experiencing in upstate New York here one of the big hits are deviled eggs okay now a lot of people get nervous when they hear deviled eggs and, and just how do you do it I'm going to show you how to do it here real quick real easy um, starting I'm just going to do six of them up half a dozen and the important thing is when you're doing deviled eggs is to cook the eggs properly Okay, when, when you get to the yolks and we take them out, you can add your different ingredients. Today I'm going to be adding a little Dijon mustard, sugar, garlic powder, paprika, salt, and mayonnaise, okay? As with cooking, it's all on your taste. You can use onion powder, you can use different things, tarragon, all different little spices that you can use in your own little recipe depending upon what you like. The important thing with eggs when you're hard boiling eggs though is to get your water boiling okay that's what I've got over here on the stove I put a little pot of water on uh, the important thing is to actually get it boiling um, before you put the eggs in add about a teaspoon of salt the reason why you do the salt okay is because even though it's inside uh, the shell what it does is it forms a barrier and it helps create a separation between the albumum which is the white of the egg the you know you have the yolk and then the white that's called the albumum and it helps create the salt a, a chemical reaction that separates the shell from the albumum so that when we peel it they become nice and whole they're easy to peel instead of and I'm sure you've experienced because I have too when you start trying to um, <coughs> crack an egg that's been hard boiled and it, you get big chunks out and it all you know sticks together because it's overcooked or undercooked so i'm going to show you how to do this real quick i got the water on i'm going to add my salt now i'm going to add the eggs and you're looking at between 12 and 14 minutes okay i mean yeah 14 minutes 12 to 14 minutes until the eggs are done then we'll cool it right down and we'll get into the process of making the eggs so i'm going to add a teaspoon of salt right now over on my water See, these are the new pots there you go you don't have to worry about the salt actually getting in the flavor of the egg it's just really for the shell to make it separate okay and the water just about boiling now so why don't we go ahead and stir it up and put the eggs right in okay there we go now I always use a spoon, slotted spoon, or a regular spoon, doesn't matter. You just want to set the eggs in and not drop them in the water because if you drop them, they'll crack. Some of them crack anyway because of the sudden change in temperature. Okay, they're going there. I'm going to set my timer here to 12 minutes. And let's see how that looks when it's done, okay? Cool. Hey, welcome to Crazy Auto's Empire Diner. That's 100 West Albany Street right here in downtown Herkimer. You may remember me or notice me as the host at CNY Flavor. You can come on that website at cnyflavor.com and learn all about the cooking show that airs on Tuesdays, every Tuesday. But we're talking about Crazy Otto's Empire Diner right now. 
You know, a lot of times you see TV shows, you wonder if the cook, the chef is there, if he really actually cooks or he actually is in a restaurant. Well, I'm one of the guys that have been there, done that, and is still doing it. Right here, you can come in, you can see me cook. I'm here virtually every day. Here at Crazy Autos, they don't call us crazy for nothing. Uh, everything here is fresh and homemade. As you can see, we fresh slice our tomato. Everything's done fresh to order. Uh, doing actually a BLT right now. This is Michael, uh, also happens to be my son. Hey, all right. Hey, welcome to Crazy Autos. Come on in, give us a try. You won't be disappointed. Okay, so it's been about 12 minutes on a rapid boil. Uh, cover on it that the steam can release. Otherwise, I got to tell you that the uh, thing will overflow, so you can't do that. Don't put a uh, top on it that the uh, you don't have a steam relief valve because if you do, it'll create quite a mess in your kitchen, okay? So here we are. Uh, before I actually run them under cold water, it's a little trick. Put it here and I count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it all dried. All the steam, it all left, which tells me that it's cooked inside. A lot of times you wonder if it's cooked in size 12 minutes, it, it actually count to eight, boom. If the egg is dry and it's still not wet, that'll tell you that it's done. And now I'm just got putting it under cold water. Dump the hot out. One of them did break, even though I was careful putting it in there. Some of the yolk escaped. That's cool. That one there all fell apart, all the string. I can still use it though inside the mix. Okay. So here we are. Cooled them down real quick. Got a little spot here. They dry up real quick. Now, one of the tricks here I'm going to show you, because a lot of times when you're trying to crack the egg, you, you hit it and then you start trying to peel it and it falls apart. A little quick way is you just hit it down, crack it, and roll it with your hand. Not too hard, not too soft. Hit each end. And then what happens is this will peel right off because you remember the salt that was inside to create the barrier from the albumum in the shell. And what happens is you have a nice hard boiled egg. Crack it, roll it down each side, and then you start your peeling, and then it'll just, if you, if you can, here, I'll do it right here. Even though I'm gonna make a mess, I'm gonna do it right here. It'll just come right off. See, it's almost like from rolling it, Rinse it off, you want to get the eggshells off. Right there, here, I'll put two of them right here just so you can see what I just did. And look at how pretty those come out. Take it, roll it down, each side. See how easy this comes off? I'm not fighting with the, the actual whites, the albumum. Come off nice and beautiful. Ooh, look at this. Just comes right off. See that? A lot of people have a hard time when they're doing these eggs because they undercook it or they way overcook it. And then when you're trying to peel, you're actually taking part of the egg out and it just makes a big mess and they don't look all pretty. Look at that. Now this is the one that actually broke. Oop. See, all the insides have come out. That's the one that broke and all the album ones in here. So we got five good ones out of here. This one here, what do we do with this if it's a big mess like that? We take a bite out. The reason why we take a bite out is because we want to see that the yolk is all cooked. These are perfect hard boiled eggs. So let me clean up my mess here. I'm going to show you how to slice the eggs, get the yolk out to make your deviled eggs. Perfect Game Imaging strives to deliver sport action photography that renders images that without us 
our clients and customers would normally not even see. I can't tell you how many viewers of our images have asked, how did you get that shot? Or, I didn't even see that happen during the game. It is our mission to have our action shots hanging on the walls of the athletes' families' homes and offices as centerpieces to be cherished for a lifetime. All right, so we've got our hard-boiled eggs. First thing we're going to do is we're going to slice them in half. <clears throat> you have different knives you can use, just whatever feels comfortable. This actually, actually I'll use this one here. This is just a, a boning knife here. And you're just going to take it and you're going to go right down the middle. Okay. Open them up. See how nice those egg yolks look? That's what's going to be the main ingredient to your <coughs> deviled eggs. Okay. You just take them and actually I'm not even going to use a spoon. I'll show you. You just use it and take your thumb, pry them right out. Get the yolk right out of it. Be careful that you don't break the the album. Might want to use a spoon. Okay. And that's all you do is you go through the process. You're going to put them in a bowl because you're going to mix your mayonnaise, your Dijon mustard. It's okay if they crack a little bit because you're going to be adding your mixture back on top of it. And those of you that have had deviled eggs know they can get a little sloppy. Get the majority of it out pretty much falls right out still you know these eggs are still hot you have seen the process taking it right from the stove cooling them rapidly but they still it's called con it's a continuation process that all food has that even when you take it off the heat it still continues to cook so here are the whites Okay, we're going to have 10 of them. It's almost like rubber, the way it is. And we're going to take our mayonnaise, put this together right here. Going to take a couple tablespoons of mayonnaise. Let me get this stuff out of here. Take your honey Dijon. Nice brand new honey Dijon. You would have think that I would have known I was using it, would have opened it up before I started grabbing for it, huh? Just shows you that here at CNY Flavor, we cook on the fly just like you do at home. Now your your salt here, I'm just going to use my palm. You use an eighth of a teaspoon, okay? J just an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Sugar, I'll use the spoon, eighth of a teaspoon. Sugar actually will counteract a little bit of the acidity from your mustard. Gives it a distinct flavor. Your garlic powder, eighth of a teaspoon. Okay. You don't want to overpower it, whether you're going to use onion, sugar, everything's here. Now we just mix this together mash it up and what you're doing here is you're mashing your yolks they're still warm I'll probably switch utensils here and grab a fork because the fork I can actually mash it down okay So you get the proper consistency that you like. Okay. A 
Some people might even use a mixer if they prefer to get it real smooth, the consistency. Okay. So that's it there. And then you're going to take your, your eggs and you're going to re-put your yolk and stuff right back in it. Right over the top. Just set them off to the side right in the plate or platter, whatever you're going to chill them with. Because see, remember these are still warm and pliable. And so what we'll do is we'll get these cold. I'll put the paprika on when I'm done stuffing them. And then they'll go in the refrigerator to chill until serving. I'm going a little under so that if I have extra, I can just spread it over the tops. But you want to make sure you have enough to go around. Which I am going to be really close. Because remember, what comes out of it should go back into it. So you should have plenty. Okay. And as you can see, it's going to be just about perfect. Put this all right here. And then, what we're going to do, get this off to the side. Put this right back here. Take your paprika, little shaker, and you're going to shake it right across the top. There you go. Deviled eggs, quick, easy. You can do these by the dozen uh, for your barbecues, your graduations, whatever, your picnics, 4th of July is coming up. All these things that you can do that they're going to love you for. Thank you. Is this who you'd call if you need a mechanic? Is this who you'd call if you need a babysitter? No Sheep Designs is the right call for your business when you need professional, affordable web development, photography, or video production. With a decade of experience, we have the knowledge and passion to bring your project to life for much less than you'd expect. Visit NoSheepDesigns.com today to see how we can help you. All right, we're ready to get started. It's just a new way to do a little tuna fish, a little different than just making tuna fish and putting it on, you know, a bread and, and serving your kids or your husband. You can do this all in about 12, 13 minutes real quick. I got the broiler on. Uh, I didn't show you how to open up the can because I'm assuming that you know how to open up a can. And I got two five ounce cans of solid white albacore tuna. I actually got them on sale uh, for under four dollars for four cans okay it was a four pack and you just take your tuna stick it right in you're going to use mayonnaise i love using hellman's because you bring out the hellman's and you bring out the best so you're going to use this is 10 ounces of um tuna here so you're going to use approximately three tablespoons of the mayonnaise now you saw me do two but that's because i i made them big instead of level teaspoons okay just regular mustard, one teaspoon here, if I can get it to squeeze out. There we go. Okay, stick that right in there. And then the relish, same thing. Now you can use onion if you want. There's different ways that you can do it. Uh, I like putting a little bit of relish in it. Just spices it up and gives it a little added flavor. And over here I have four pieces of cheese just the white american cheese i like using land of lakes uh, you can usually get that on special and on sale uh, if you're not if you don't and you want to use regular yellow american you can use that you can use swiss depends on the type of cheese that you like 
Now you notice I'm not adding any salt, pepper, garlic, anything to the tuna because the mustard, the mayonnaise, and the relish brings out a real distinct flavor. So you're just going to mix this up, get a good little consistency going. I'm not making it real uh, watery, okay, because I want it with a tuna burger. You're going to bite into it. And you're going to be able to actually taste the tuna. Have four buns here, little baking pan, real easy. You're going to take the bottoms of the buns, put them here, and you're going to break this into four portions, nice good portions. Just scoop them out right onto the bun. And then we'll put the cheese on top. Put a little bit more here. My hands have been washed and sanitized. One of the things too when you're cooking and the temperature will get up there, uh, any microorganisms or bacteria that you may have touched with your hand will cook off, okay? If this was just gonna be served, especially in a restaurant, you wear a glove. So we take that and you're just gonna take your pieces of cheese, put them right over the top. Spread them out a little bit just so the cheese doesn't melt on each other, okay? And these are ready that quick to go right underneath your broiler for just approximately two minutes at the most and that's gonna melt the cheese. So watch, this is what it looks like now. I'm gonna put them underneath the broiler. Be right back. So here we are, didn't even take a minute and 30 seconds. Uh, I'm sure you've had tuna melts in, in restaurants and stuff. This actually heated the tuna too. And you're just gonna take this, put it right on top, and now you're ready for your tuna burgers. That quick, that easy, in and out, and you can be on your way. Kids will love it. Hey, Scott Trainer here, host of CNY Flavor. We have a great show in store for you. Um, I'm sitting here with Stephanie Johnson, the owner of Kanicki's, which is in Little Falls. It's a 50-style uh, restaurant right across from Veterans Memorial Park on Burwell Street. And it's a privilege and an honor to get to sit here with you, Stephanie. Nice to you. You're, you're very young. You look like my daughter, okay? Yeah. Um, and a lot of people might throw them for a curve there, cur curveball right across yes. from the park, uh, thinking that maybe you're the owner's daughter. Yeah, I but, get that a lot. But you're actually the owner. I am, yes. Now, tell me a little bit about yourself, Stephanie, because being so young, um, you know, you wonder what your experience is, but people don't realize, you know, you're 28, right? 28. Went to school for business for four years, and I've been working in restaurants since I was 16. So I knew what I was getting myself into. Okay. And um, I don't know, we like it. So it's real family oriented here. Yes, it is. Okay, now you're sort of off the beaten path. We are, but uh, a lot of people know about us. The hospital is only about uh, an eighth of a mile away. Okay. And we have the ball fields and tennis courts right here, so we get a lot of business off of that. And so L Little Falls Hospital is on Burwell Street. Yes, it is. And so that's all people have to do is if they're coming down 169 or 170, just come right past the hospital. Yeah. Come right past the hospital and you can't miss us. You can't miss it, okay. And you have a unique uh, back Americana um, motif here, and it's and it's all decorated beautifully with 50 style yes, is, stuff. Yeah. I'm looking at the old Coca-Cola machine. Yeah, we have a lot of the antiques and memorabilia on the wall. Uh, you also have a gift shop here. We do have a gift shop. Yep, and um, we specialize in country primitive items. Now. What are your hours here? Are you open seven days a week? Do you do uh, breakfast? No. Or? We're open Tuesday through Saturday and we open at 11 o'clock for lunch and okay. then dinner we're open. We're open till 8 but in the summer sometimes we stay longer if there's ball games and we're really busy. See now I like that because you guys all know that I do breakfast. That's my specialty yeah. and so <laughs> if you want to come to breakfast come to me. You want to come to lunch or dinner come to her. Yes. There you go. Um, do you have a website? Yes, we do. It's kanikisdriving.com.
Kanickysdrivin.com. Yes. Now, uh, I watch a lot of TV, you know, growing up, go to the movies, do all sorts of things, but I could not figure out where you got this name, Kanickys. Where did you get the name Kanickys? Kanickys is from the movie Grease. There is a character in that movie, and his name was Kanicki. Uh, Jeff Conaway played him, and I loved that movie ever since I was little, and it was 50s style, so when I decided to do a 50s themed restaurant, Kanicki's just popped in my head. Now that's the old John Travolta and uh, Olivia Newton-John? Yes, yes. Wow. Yep. That, that's great, and so you took that character, and so this really is your brainchild. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, my brother helped me with the name, too. Okay. So, we were just thinking at the kitchen table, and we both kind of shouted it out at the same time. People eat with their eyes first. People don't realize this, but they eat with their eyes first. Then it's smell. You know, it's part of our senses. And then taste. So, if, if something looks good and it smells good, then they're going to have a good experience because yeah. they can taste it. Now, you work on all three at this store. Okay, mm -hmm. because you walk in and you're immediately, I call it eye candy, mm -hmm. okay? You walk in and you go, wow, and you look around and you've got stuff all on the walls. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah, thank you. So you have a good experience there. And then the smells, because I smelled it, you know, <laughs> coming off of the, behind the counter there, smelled great. And so I know that if I ordered something, I'm going to have a good experience yes. here. What is your favorite dish here that, um, you, that you like or you like to cook? Well, I don't I like the grilled chicken supreme sandwich and that's got homemade honey mustard on it, uh, lettuce, tomato, and pickles. It's on a Kaiser roll. Really? Yes, it's really good. And and do you uh, grill the the breast or how do you cook it? Uh, yeah, it's on the grill. It's on the grill, yep, okay. Yep, but we sell a ton of chicken tenders and fries. The kids love those. Okay. And um, Mexicans. We do a lot of Mexicans. Okay, so y you have the field, you have family oriented a lot of kids when you're having your tournaments over there your your tennis yes. um, a lot of kids so my wife and I come up and we want one of your nice burgers or mm -hmm. hot dogs uh, how's the turnover is it pretty quick or yeah it's pretty quick I mean when we get slammed you know it takes a little bit longer but other than that it's really quick you're usually eating within five or ten minutes see I like the word when she said slam because if yeah. you're in the restaurant you know what slammed is yeah. you know what in the weeds is you, you know, know what drowning is yeah. and you got to really try to keep up yeah. now I, I noticed the design on on the restaurant here the kitchen mm -hmm. um, you also have a good little feature that you can actually walk up on the other side. It's a walk up. Uh, it's an ice cream window. Ice yes. cream window. Yeah. So if I wanted an old fashioned milkshake or an ice cream, that's where I'd go. You can go right there, or if you were inside, you could go right to the counter also. Okay. Now, is, is that how you do it here? Is you go up to the counter, order, and then it's brought to your table? Yes. Or? You go to the counter, place your order, and then we'll bring it out to you. What would you like to tell them? Uh, to give you the opportunity to serve them. What would you like to tell them? Well, I would like them to come in and try our food. They won't be disappointed. We have a great staff here, so you're gonna have good service, and our food is excellent. Okay. So come and try us. <laughs> That's right, the best in Little Falls. Come in and give them a try. Stephanie's a great girl. Um, you're gonna get good service here. You're gonna get good food. Yes. And I'd just like to thank, thank you, you for giving me the opportunity thank to you. come and talk to you. Well, thank and you. I am definitely gonna try this. All right. Thank you. Thanks.